Hey guys, this is Red and today is Saturday so I have a new command creation for you. So as you can see here, I'm in the world of Harry Potter and as you saw from the title of this video, I have recreated some Gryffindor magic powers in one command. So let's get started. To get started you have to give yourself a command block through this command, give at p command underscore block, then hit enter, place the command block down and paste the command inside with ctrl v. If you're on a Mac computer you'll have to use command v, then click on this button and then on done. And the machine should be assembled in just a few seconds. This creation is compatible both for Minecraft 1.9 and Minecraft 1.10 versions. I'm not sure about the future ones, so if you're watching this video late in the time, I'm not sure if it will work in future Minecraft version. If you right click on this sign, you'll get the crafting recipes and by right clicking on this sign, you can either deactivate or activate the machine again. You don't have to do this at the first time, when the machine generates, it is already active. Okay, so in order to get the Gryffindor's magic wand, we have to do like a ritual, so you will need a cauldron filled with water, but before we need to place a source of fire underneath it, then place the cauldron and finally fill it with water and finally drop these items. So you'll need to drop inside this cauldron a stick and 64 fire charges. And then the magic thing is going to happen. As you can see here, uh, the cauldron is boiling, the water in the cauldron is boiling and we finally get this Gryffindor's wand. So the first things that you can see added by this wand is that even if you don't hold it, if you have it in your inventory, you'll have a fire resistance effect. This wand also has some protection 1, uh, fire protection 5, fire aspect 2, silk touch, fortune 1 effect and flame. So this means that if you hit for example a mob, let's say a cow, because I always do my experiments on cows. Anyways, if you hit these cows with the stick, they will burn. So yeah, you can get some cooked pork chop really easily because this has also a power effect and deals a lot of damage. Another cool thing is that if you hold this item in your hand, it doesn't matter, you can hold it in your offhand slot or in your normal hotbar slot, it will give you a speed effect if you are sprinting. As long as you sprint, you will get this speed 2 effect. Since you are controlling fire using these Gryffindor's powers, you will melt nearby ice and another feature about this command is that if you are in game mode 0, you'll get damaged by water because of course fire can be extinguished by water, so beware, pay attention at the ice because you risk to die and as you can see I can show it to you that you can die. Yeah, I was killed by magic. Uh, oh god, I have to go back again. Okay, so the next things we can do using these powers, we can cast some spells, but we need some mana in order to be able to cast them. So uh, how do we do that? Well, the first thing we have to do, we have to use a command, which is uh, scoreboard objectives, set display sidebar, and then G R Y M A N, and you'll see a tab here in the right hand side of the screen. You see that now, oh, currently I have 300 mana, but let me reset it. Okay, so now I have resetted my mana and it goes up by one each second. If I die, I lose all the mana that I have. So the first thing you can do using this mana, you can shoot arrows in the direction that you're looking and you'll be consuming a total of one mana per arrow that you shoot. These arrows, when they land, they, they will set the floor on fire and, oh, come on, where is it? Someone is shooting arrows at me and they will deal a lot of damage to mobs. For example, if an arrow goes uh, near a mob, it will start to burn. And these arrows also deal six half hearts of damage, which is three normal hearts. And uh, I think that I should run away from this room because Dumbledore would be really mad at me. And I don't want to mess with uh, Dumbledore. So yeah, it's better to go out. The second spell you can cast uses a total of 20 mana and it is the coolest one. So um, it also deals a lot of damage, so I should pay attention to this room and run as soon as possible because therefore Dumbledore would come to kill me and I don't want to be Avada Kedavra. So while you're holding your Gryffindor's wand in your offhand slot, you'll have to drop a gunpowder on ground and you see that it transforms into the Grief Bomb. So let's go away from it. What it does, it causes a really big explosion that deals a lot of damage to, in this case, to our Hogwarts castle. I'm really sorry, Dumbledore. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. Let's drop another one, and you can see that it consumes a total of 20 mana, so it went down by 20. Let's run away, and boom. If you have a wooden structure, it would burn, it will burn really, really quick, so keep this in mind. Then the third and last spell that you can cast 
is the, um, let's call it small explosion. I still didn't give it a name, but anyways, we are fine. How do you use it? It's simple. Take a flint and steel. Again, you'll have to hold the wand in your, in your left hand and then just use it on ground to jump in the air and pay attention to don't die. If you're in game mode zero and you get launched in the air, you'll, you'll not be damaged by the falling, by the big fall because you'll receive a uh, jump boost effect with a really high amplifier. This doesn't last forever, it, uh, it is active only while you are jumping. So as you can see, it lasts for 2 seconds and when you're down, it disappears. So you can use this combined with the Griffey Bomb, use it, then jump up somewhere, hide here. Oh, and I'm... Um, I think that I died with my own spells. Oh god, this is not really good. This is not really good. Okay, I'm back. Let's drop another gunpowder on the ground while holding the um, the wand in your second hand. And this is gonna explode everything. And myself included. The small explosion spell will take you a total of 5 mana. Uh, another way to generate mana is not only by waiting 1 second every time. Uh, another way is by going inside the cauldron and boil yourself. Yes, you heard me right. You, you'll have to boil yourself while you're in game mode zero. So let's go inside the cauldron. And if you hold the uh, the wand, you see that we'll get a damage and you'll get 15 mana points. Okay, where is it? Let's go back. And while you hold the, uh, the magic wand, you'll get damage and you'll also get some mana. But pay attention to don't die because... If you die, you'll, you'll lose your mana. This is because I didn't want players to... So they can make tons of mana. And I also added a limit for the mana. You can have a maximum of 300 mana points. So after you reach 300, it will not go up anymore. One last thing that you can do using the magic powers of this one, magic wand. You can walk on lava. This is simple. All you have to do, you have to hold the magic wand in your second hand, your left hand. This will not work if you hold it in uh, in your normal hand you have to hold it in your second hand and you are ready to walk on lava so guys that was it about this one comment creation i hope that you liked it if you did so please leave a like under this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new i'll see you all guys in my next video if you want to get this command you'll find a link in the, in the video description go click it and you'll be forwarded to my webpage where you can find the command and also in the video description you'll find the download link for this really really nice remake of the Hogwarts castle. Really good job to the builders, they did a really good job, I love it. And I'll see you all guys next week with some more comment tutorials and one comment creation. See you, bye!